The United States Senate voted to advance a $1 trillion infrastructure package on Saturday. This is a procedural, or rather, but important step forward after months of negotiations between President Joe Biden and a bipartisan group of senators. In a 67-27 vote demonstrating broad bipartisan support, senators agreed to limit a debate on the legislation. This uh, represents uh, the biggest investment in decades in America's fiscal infrastructure, including roads, bridges, airports, and waterways. But the timing for passage remained unclear as lawmakers prepared for possible votes on amendments. They've also worked behind closed doors to reach an agreement uh, that would allow the Senate to complete its uh, work on the legislation quickly. The chamber's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, signaled his uh, support for the bill. And after hours of closed on negotiations, senators were unable to reach agreement on Thursday on a final batch of amendments. On this vote, the yeas are 67, the nays are 27, three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn having voted in the affirmative. The motion is agreed to. We're rising to the challenge. The bill before us, the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, includes, among other provisions, the largest federal investment in public transit in history, the largest investment in clean drinking water and waste water infrastructure in history, the largest investment in clean energy transmission in history, the largest investment in climate resiliency in history, and the largest investment in transportation electrification in history. Is this bill perfect? No. No compromise legislation ever is. But it will make a big difference in modernizing our country's infrastructure. More than that, we will demonstrate that both Republicans and Democrats can come together and do big things that move our country forward. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.